Can I tell you a personal story? Absolutely. This, 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 <laughs> this will be great. So last year, I sent 3.5 million phishing emails. And that's how the phishing emails I, I sent. 3.5 million. And my third book was released last year and all about phishing. So I'm not saying this to brag, but I think I would call myself like a subject matter expert on phishing. And I clicked on a fish last year. <laughs> and it was perfect, you know. So I'm, I'm preparing for DEF CON. We have three major competitions. We're running a whole village out there. And I had all this stuff ordered from Amazon. And, I, you know, my office is a wreck. Boxes are piled up everywhere. And I get this email that says, one of your recent orders will not be um, sent due to a declined credit card. And now my rules, you know, open your browser and type it in. Don't click on a link. Hover. I didn't do any of that. I was stressed and I was rushed, and I clicked the link. And a beautiful-looking Amazon page opens, and I start to type in my credentials. And before I click the enter, I look up at the browser bar, and I see, you know, something, something, dot, ru. And it wasn't Amazon. Wow. It, was a, it was a real Russian hacker website. I stop, and I'm like, holy crap, I, I, just, I just clicked on a fish. I just <laughs> actually got – I'm the guy who writes these things. I shouldn't be clicking on them. And it was a real humbling moment for me. And I sat there and I said, you know, so many times in this industry we say things like, uh, no patch for human stupidity. I hate that statement because that means if you fall for this, you're stupid. I don't think I'm stupid. So, and I fell for it. So what does that mean? Well, that fissure got me with the right emotional trigger at the exact right time, and I took action that I shouldn't have taken. And if I had spent two seconds, I, I went back and I looked at that email after I realized I wasn't. I went and, you know, put everything through Wireshark and checked the page and inspected, make sure I didn't get any kind of infection. I went and looked at the email, and it was for, like, a George Foreman grill and lead press on nails. You know, I mean, I never ordered those two things. Well, okay, I never ordered those two things together for Vegas, let's say. But, you know, here I had this email, and it was like, per, you know, I should have read it. And if I read it, I would have been, oh, man, that wasn't me, and I wouldn't have fell for it. But it was fear and stress and anxiety and all those emotions and feelings kicked in, and bam, I clicked the link and almost gave my credentials over. So it is, it is um, people often say, I don't want to tell anyone that I clicked the fish because it's embarrassing that I was so stupid. Well, you know, yeah, is it embarrassing? Yeah, am I proud of the fact that I clicked? No, I'm not. But the fact is, if a guy who sent 3.5 million phishing emails and wrote a book on fishing can click on a fish, I think anybody can click on a fish. So it's better to report it than it is to try to, to, try to hide it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sorry for that rant, but no, that was do that was a, a great <laughs> personal story. I mean, I guess the moral of the story, like you said, is even the most seasoned expert in the field can be, you know, tricked uh, if the right circumstances arise. So I guess the the right answer is never get stressed, right? Oh, you have yeah. to have to yeah. take it slow. <laughs> When if you, you figure email. out the secret to that, let me know. You and I will make billions.